Have you ever forgotten to lock your bike? Was it stolen? Did you get it back? Let me know in the comment section below. Bike blogger here. Story time, story time. The time I forgot to lock my bike. All right, easy bike blogger. Easy bike blogger. Let's go this way. Haven't gotten this way before. I think it'll save me a little bit of time. Let's take the off ramp there. So the time I forgot to lock my bike. A little background. I bike to work almost every day. I try to do it every day. Um, recently I've been sick, so I haven't been doing it as often as I should. But I'm getting back in the game again here. Uh, in the past I've often locked up outside even in the winter and I park usually in the same spot <laughs> all the time I need to get over here let's see eh, let's get off the road I need to make a left and those guys are right behind me I couldn't make a left and these guys are coming so we'll just do this wait for our turn um, oh great, I can't see anything. Oh, it's parked cars, create big blind spots. Um, anyway, I lock up with uh, usually a U lock, also known as a D lock. Um, best way I recommend locking your bike is with a good quality U lock. At least, you know, a 13 millimeter, 14 millimeter diameter shackle on it. They now got these new types that are, uh, they're called double deadbolt. Totally recommend those. They'll save you, they'll get you more time. A thief would have to cut it twice to get it off. Um, I don't know if mine's double, I don't think it's double deadbolt or whatever it's called. But yeah, I totally recommend that. Obviously the best way to lock your bike Lock the rear wheel the frame and the front wheel And if you're in a bad area Use two or three u-locks uh, That's really the, all you can do that's about as good as you can do um, There are you know like Like I think they're called uh, pit locks or pinhead You get special uh, nuts and bolts for your various accessories, but for the bike itself, um, the big money part, although I guess for some bikes the components are worth more in the bike, but you always want to lock the rear wheel, the frame, and the front wheel. Um, taking the alleyways, obviously, today. So yeah, back to the story. I've locked my bike up outside for, I've been doing it for over a year in the same spot. And uh, one time I forgot to lock up my bike. I must have been in a hurry, because you know, everybody's always in such a hurry. <laughs> and uh, I leaned my bike up against the bike rack and I forgot to lock it. <laughs> oh, how do you forget to do that? I did forget to do that and I was gone for eight hours you know like you know the whole work day um, I don't live in a really sketchy part of town there are some uh, there are some poor people around but uh, I don't tend to see a lot of you know beggars and drug addicts and stuff like that around where I park but, you know, I park in a downtown, small town sort of setting area in Maplewood, Missouri. And, uh, I think we go up one more here. And, uh, yeah, so, I didn't know I forgot to lock it, obviously. So it was sitting there, 
And when I came back later that night, it was still there. Oh my god. And this was a, uh, this is my diamond back. Yeah, I know. Not a very exotic bike, but I don't think that really matters. Um, if there's a thief around, just so happens to be around when you park your bike, I don't care what it is, if it's easy to steal, that's the main thing. If they can swipe it, you know, 30 seconds or less, you know, or they can just roll it away because you didn't even lock it. <laughs> oh man. So, I wasn't so much thankful that my bike was still there. I was just upset at myself that what the heck I didn't lock it. It was weird too because, uh, let's go straight. It was weird too because it had been like, uh, you know, a full day, eight hours, and I hadn't, um, I hadn't locked my bike. I was just amazed when I went to go unlock it and like, where's the lock? <laughs> Uh, locks on my bike. Ugh. That'd be funny though, huh? Thief comes by, picks the lock, and steals the lock, and doesn't steal the bike. Like I said before, whether it's an exotic, expensive bike or not, I don't think it really matters. Because, you know, a druggie, they just want to make an easy buck. So if it's easy to steal, no matter what it is, it'll be stolen eventually. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so that's my little story. Have you ever forgotten to lock your bike? Was it stolen? Did you get it back? Let me know in the comment section below. And we're about halfway done with this bike. Let's go to the left. Um, because I don't live in a high crime area, um, let me take that back. That's all very um, relative. Um, it's all very much uh, perspective. You know, whether you think you live in a high crime area or not. Um, I don't think I really do, but I've been trying out these weaker locks, you know, that aren't U locks, and they're pretty good. Uh, left? lost right now. I think I go left. Um, so one of them is called a tiger lock. You can saw through it in a matter of 30 seconds with a hacksaw. But it's, it's weird looking and I think one of the most important things about a lock is just deterrence. You know, someone who's not knowledgeable about bike locks and stuff, you know, a thief, you know, it may look more scary. It might look like, you know, it's going to take a long while to cut through it. Anyway, it's a neat lock. It's partially made out of titanium. It's very light. It's like just a pound or less. But, you know, generally the heavier the bike lock, the more secure it is. But that's not true for everything. You can check online. There's independent uh, places that rate these things like soldsecure.com and uh, I think it's... I think it's Dutch, the ART rating. And uh, they rate it on like basically how long it takes to break the lock. And you know, most locks are broken in under 30 seconds. This guy back down? Yeah, he just. He saw me though. That's good. Watch that door zone. Anyway, so we're on Ivanhoe now. We're going through, uh, well, that storefront window to the left I just passed at South City Computer. So I guess you'd call this the South City area. I'm not certain, certain exactly what the, uh, what the neighborhood is, though. Because there's like 70 neighborhoods in the city of St. Louis alone. And in the county where I live. 
there's like 90, 91 municipalities. So, people often ask like, why is it so quiet where you live? Partially policy. Back in the late 1800s, the city did not want to pay for, you know, social services, i.e. taxes, for the county residents, when there used to be a lot less people in the county. So the city came up with the great idea to succeed from the county or to, like, you know, not stop paying taxes to the county. So there was a split. And so now the city and the county aren't one government. And I think that's kind of hurt us. I think we'd be stronger together, but, you know, that's politics and we're not going to talk politics. Yeah. That was a cool looking bike that guy was on. It's like a neon green. Alright. I suppose a bike is more susceptible to being stolen if it's eye catching, you know, like really bright green or something. But I don't know, it really depends. It's like the old uh, debate about is it safer to lock up in a busy, noisy area or is it safer to lock up in a quiet, isolated area and I think the argument for a quiet area there's an element of deterrence there depends on how brazen the thief is how hopped up on drugs they are but in a quiet environment you can hear an angle grinder a lot easier than a noisy busy environment so eh. and you know you can't steal what you can't see. So if it's hidden, that could offer uh, that could offer some shelter to a thief. But at the same time, they may never see it. So anyway, thanks for watching. I think I'll extend the commute a little further, the video that is. Take you all the way there. But uh yeah. Recently, I've been, or in the last couple of years, I've just been parking, you know, uh, in my workplace because I'm lucky enough to do that. And that's great, as long as you can keep an eye on your bike. And whether it's an expensive bike or a cheap bike, getting a bike stolen just stinks. So, it stinks a little more when it's an expensive bike, and it stinks even more if it's a custom bike, you know. Oh jeez. That girl needs to get a muffler on that thing or something. Oh man. Man, maybe she just needs to ride a bike. Oh, you'll live longer. That's my opinion. Your chances of uh your chances of getting hit by a car is very slim as long as you follow the rules of the road, you use bright lights, you uh, communicate with other road users, that will ex extraordinarily lower your chances of ever getting hit, or even having any bad, you know, encounters. So, that's one reason why you shouldn't be riding on the sidewalk like I am right now. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, I left my bike. For eight hours now mostly during daylight it was out for a couple hours in the pitch black it was mostly during daylight I think it was like in the winter time like around now actually just about um, and yeah it was still there it wasn't taken <laughs> uh, I'm not sponsored by anybody but yeah there's another lock I've been playing around with very simple very lightweight lock uh, weighs a third of a pound it's like a uh, fancy cable lock it's uh, called the auto lock it's pretty cool it's interesting um, I actually kind of wonder I haven't tested it myself most people haven't because it's new it's like only a year old. Uh, 
it might actually be stronger than that tiger lock I was talking about. But the problem with the auto lock, O-T-T-O -T -T -O lock, is it looks a lot like a cable lock. So now we're back to that element of deterrence. If it looks easy to cut, a thief will try to cut it. And being as most thieves aren't very smart, <laughs> they may just fail, but they'll bust up your lock and then you can't unlock your bike. So you effectively have to go steal your own bike and ruin the lock. So that's the big downside I see to it. Oh. Well, anyway, we're at work now. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Like and subscribe.